SampleKings.com, and we've got a brand new series we just started, and it's called Pro Tools 10. It's on sale now. You get five DVDs over seven and a half hours worth of lessons. Now, here's a video preview. Okay, next up, we're going to do Duplicate. Okay, I've got a file selected right here. This region here selected, right? We're going to go here, and we're going to duplicate that region. And so we made a region right behind it. So it duplicated right after it, okay? And this is why it's based according to our grid, which we'll cover later on, but this is a duplicate. And I'll undo that. So I can also repeat. The difference here is I can have a number repeat. So I have four here. Press OK. We got four of them. Undo. I can also shift a file. Let's say I want to move a file. You could be doing a little video, a movie, or just putting some part of a vocal a little bit back or ahead just to make it fall in sync with track. And so we've got a part selected, we'll say right here. And I may want to take this part and shift it. When we go here, and we can shift it, and we can do it earlier or later. So here I've got one bar selected. I'll press OK later. It shifted back one bar. Now another edit item on the menu here is this separate clip. Now I can separate a clip based on the grid. So my grid is set up here for beats and bars. And I can do transients as well. So let's look at transients. And you see it up and down the transients here, these little peaks and everything goes like a little triangle here in a sense pointing to the right. And so I can say milliseconds, just by milliseconds. And you'll notice here, let me zoom in better. We can see this better if I zoom in a little more. There we go. Every transient now is right there in front of us. You can see them right here. And they're just little pieces, right? So what happens is that it says, okay, right by zero. I'm going to get to zero, and then it'll make that a file. So it goes to here. This is where zero's at. Zero's here. Zero's there. So zero milliseconds. There's the least amount of noise, and then it says, okay, that's a transient. I'm going to chop it here, and we separate each section by a transient. Let's undo that. Now, we'll go back here to separate clip, and we can do it by grid, based on a grid value. See, nothing happens there, but now, see, it's happened. It's based it all on this grid value. And each one is a little piece right there. So see, just chopped it all up. Not looking at the sample, but basing it on what the grid value is. And you see the right here, actually, in grid? And it's based on 30-second notes. Now, I'm going to do that. And I'll change the grid value to eighth notes. And now, back to file, under the edit, we'll go back to separate clip. We'll go to grid, press OK, and now all by eighth notes. I got the same clip right here. So I can press play. This is my clip going by. Let's say I want to separate these into two different parts. I've got the cursor here, and it's going right where the grid's at, right? So we're basing on the grid, and I can right-click here. I get a menu, and I go to separate. And now I got two different parts here, see? So I can pull this apart there. Two different parts. Let's undo the pull apart. And let's say you don't want to do that. You Maybe you got two parts now. You want to heal the separation, okay? We're going to heal. So we go right over here. We're going to grab these two parts. Grab that one, too. There we go. And back to here. And we're going to heal separation. And now it's healed.